Ooh, here's something interesting. Look inside that shear pin hole. You can see it bubbling out. That's great, that's what we want. Hey guys and gals, welcome to Garage Gear, I'm JB. If you have a Craftsman, Cub Cadet, MTD, yard machines, or any other similar style snowblower, these procedures will help prevent your augers from seizing. First step, put some cardboard down because this is gonna get messy. Throw on some gloves too. Next, you're gonna pull the spark plug to prevent any unwanted startups. Important step here. You're gonna wanna take a photo of how your augers are set, so that way when you're all done, you can reposition them back exactly the way they were. From here, I'm gonna pull out the shear pins that are holding these augers in place. They have these little pins on top. We gotta get each of them out. This guy's on there. You're coming with me. Come on. There we go. Now the shear pins seem to be stuck in there a little bit, so we're just gonna give them a few love taps and knock them out. Got it. Ooh, that baby be rusty. There she is. Ah, looks like somebody's got a little lube on her. We don't need to bend her. Ladies and gentlemen, she might be seized. Now she's not really moving much. Let's try something here. We got some good old PB blaster. Let's hose this baby down, shall we? Good. We're gonna let that work its way in for a few minutes and we'll come back to it. All right, now what about this guy over here? Got it, another rusty one. Now keep in mind, I bought this snowblower used for 100 bucks last spring. So it kind of looks like the previous owner didn't exactly do these kinds of steps to it. These are the fights we gotta fight here. This is actually a really good example of how things can seize up over time. All right, I've been pounding on this thing for the last few minutes here and it ain't moving. So it's starting to get serious. I got my torch, I got my ice water. We're gonna heat it up and then dump some ice cold water on it. That expansion and immediate contraction should hopefully free it up. Okay, let's heat her up. Get some cold water on it. Now let's give it a whack. Maybe? So I tried using that quench method where you heat it up and then you cool it off with some ice cold water and that didn't do it. You also can't heat it up for long because if you do, you'll start to melt some of the plastic components that are inside these augers. So heating it up for a long time is out. Jeez, this thing's stuck. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna drill it out I have extra shear pins, so we'll be good to go. Let's get that thing out. This thing's starting to look like the head on the T-1000 from Terminator 2. Got it. Wow. Oh my God. Look at that thing. That is insane. Holy crap was that thing in there. This is example A of why you take the time to lubricate this stuff. Now that we got this guy out, Let's get back to business. Now our shear pins are all out. Normally that's much easier to accomplish. Now from here, your augers should be loose and spin. And if they don't spin all the way around, that's okay. So now you're probably thinking, JB, what are we gonna lubricate these things with? Well, there's actually quite a few products we can use and something is better than nothing. But for this, we're calling in our good old friend, fluid film. Good choice. It's great stuff. And it hangs on a bit better and doesn't wash away as easy. It's a superior penetrant and lubricant. And I used to undercoat my truck with this in the past and that stuff would hold up all year long. So this will definitely stick around for a while. It's safe for plastic and rubber components too. And I'll have it linked down below in the description. Now to get this done right, you're gonna wanna have one of these little red straws. But here's an added tip. You're gonna take your red straw and a sharp blade. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna carefully chop off the tip at about a 30 degree angle. Boom, just like that, that should do. This fine tip here will allow you to stick it in tighter spots better and you'll see why here in a moment. Cool, let's start spraying. Before I start shooting this, I wanna show you this really quick. You can actually start to see the rust forming on the auger shaft inside these augers. That's not good, we definitely need to lubricate this thing. And help keep this video lubed up with the YouTube algorithm, would you mind hitting that like button? Thank you. My first target's gonna be inside these shear pin holes. And then what I like to do is tip them up and then cover and block that hole and then spray them too. This is where that tip comes in handy. Point it down a little bit. Do it here on this one now. Move it up, move it down. And then what you can do is kind of spin them around like this. This will help work that fluid film around. Now we'll move over here. This one was the bad one. We definitely need to lubricate this one big time. Tip it up, down. Point it to the left and right too. That baby is lubricated. We'll get this one here on this end. This one's a little tight. Tip it down, flood it. Spin them around. 
work that stuff around. But now before you go any further and you start spraying the rest of these components here on this auger shaft, what you wanna do is check where the shaft comes out of the gearbox. Make sure that there's no leaks. Check this over on both sides to ensure that nothing is coming out. This way you can make sure that you won't mix up actual oil or grease that's coming out of the gearbox with any lubricant you're applying. From here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this spacer back and we're just gonna get this red straw in as far as we can and hose it down. This slips right underneath, good. Ah, it's coming out the other side. That's beautiful. Just the way we want it. Ha <laughs> ha! Even spin it around a little bit. That's perfect. Now I'm gonna push this back toward the gearbox. I'm gonna try to weasel this straw underneath this auger. You'll notice a definite different sound when you start spraying this if it's getting underneath. Just like that, perfect. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this auger and we're gonna push it this way as far as we can. That gives us enough room. I'll tell you what, that auger spins really nice and smooth now. We're gonna continue pushing this auger toward the gearbox. We're gonna get under this little plastic bushing here in the middle, flood it. Yeah! Coming out both sides. Now I'm gonna push the auger over, the bushing over, and that should open up a little space for us here. Find the hole! And then from here, I'm gonna slide the auger over, and we'll get it in from this side. As you spin these augers around, you'll notice that there's little ridges or notches on the side. That's the ideal spot to stick the straw. Get in there! Okay, that spins nice now too, good. Now these bushings here on the side take a lot of abuse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this auger and we're gonna push everything as far this way as we can. This will open it up about an eighth of an inch for us. And then what we're gonna do is try to aim this toward the top so that way any fluid film can just run down along the sides. That is nicely lubricated, we're good. Now the processes here are pretty much gonna be the same on the other side. We're gonna push everything over as far as we can. We have one little slot that we could stick this straw in. There we go. There's that magical sound. Ooh, here's something interesting. Look inside that shear pin hole. You can see it bubbling out. That's great. That's what we want. That's how you know you're getting it all the way through. That's perfect. Then from there, I'm gonna slide this auger this way. Coming out that shear pin hole again. That's good. This is the auger that needed it bad too. Then we have this little bushing here in the middle. You can actually see it starting to come out the other side. Then we're gonna get it underneath this last auger. This is getting extra saucy here today. Yep. Okay, we're gonna pull this auger this way. Pull this little washer over. And now we're back at the bushing here on the side. Again, you wanna get it up on the top. Perfect. Look at that. From here, I went back to the photo that I took earlier and placed my augers into their proper position. I then took the extra step of spraying down my shear pins to prevent any future seizing. I reinstalled the shear pins back into their slots. This locked the augers back into place so they would move with the auger shaft now. Check out the ooze leaking out of this thing. From here, I do not like this fluid film to go to waste, so I wiped it all around each of the augers. This will prevent the snow from sticking. Once that was complete, I reconnected the spark plug and these augers are now fully lubricated and protected. Now here's some tips and tricks to help you out with this procedure. First, why do we do this? Well, if your augers are not properly greased or lubricated like this, the augers themselves could become seized to the auger shaft. Then if you were to hit something hard, like a tree branch that was buried under the snow or a rock, or a newspaper even, and your auger was seized onto that shaft, this could do terrible damage to your gearbox. These cost a lot of money to replace and take a terrible amount of time to repair. Avoid that drama. You got it. Spray it down like this once a season and you're good to go. Can you use red and tacky grease or something like white lithium grease in a sprayable can? Yes, but something like this doesn't really flow into tight spaces as well as something like fluid film does. In my experience doing this over the years, fluid film seems to get in better. What about something like WD-40? WD-40 is good, but it's thinner and it washes out quick. So you're really better off using something that's gonna stick around longer. Now another thing you could try if you really wanted to get crazy with this is to fully dismantle the entire front auger assembly. Pull it out and pull it apart piece by piece. You could grease everything heavily with red and tacky grease, and then put it all back together. That whole procedure is extremely time consuming. Well, that's how I do it. Well, you do you, my friend. After doing this quick spray procedure once a season, I have never seen an auger seize on these. So now exactly what does the manual say to do? Well, they've got a whopping two sentences on this entire procedure. Right here it says auger shaft, and underneath it says at least once a season, remove the shear pins on the auger shaft, spray lubricant inside the shaft, and around the spacers and flange bearings found at either end of the shaft.
Way to be super thorough there, Craftsman and MTD. Could you tap and drill some Zerk fittings of your own onto these augers? Some out there have done that. It would allow you to easily lubricate each auger without making a huge mess. The augers are now fully lubed up and so is the gearbox. For how to properly lubricate these kinds of gearboxes on these Craftsman MTD Cup Cadet snowblowers, check out the video I'll have linked down below in the description. For more cool garage gear content, click or tap the screen right here. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the garage.